they wouldn't be able to play that. Tide. Yeah, I was going to say Tide was um, a pick that both sides could potentially pick up just because maybe the Furion is also support. Unlikely with Sora. We'll have to see. Yeah, I mean, we should also point out maybe they can do Ten safe lane Sorter. Um, that is something that people have been experimenting with because the Talons Five gave him a significant remaining. boost to his carry potential. He does a lot of focus damage now um, between his bash upgrade, attack speed upgrade, and there's probably another one. So, but Tidehunter, really good versus the... Matches up well against the Furion. You don't care about Treants. You've got Kraken Shell. You've got um, Anchor Smash. So you could just kind of farm against the Furion all the time. You can stand in front of his pushes. And then on top of that, you can remove Amplify damage. So it makes you um, hard to focus down. Yeah, what I'd like to see Secret do is they use this Tidehunter uh, as the frontliner. I think we talked about that in the past. It's like when you pick heroes like Tidehunter or... Abaddon when he was really popular, it's so that you have somebody that doesn't immediately get bursted that can sit in front of the tier 1s so that your team can set up a fight around you. If you just have Ravage in the holster, you can defend most of the tier 1s in the game. And that's really important against a team like Complexity. Because this time they don't have something like the Jakiro that can chip it down. They've got to commit to these tower pushes. And so when you commit to a tower push against a Tidehunter, it's pretty obnoxious. Because if you don't burst him, then he Ravages, uh, his team can get there in time. But complexity with a little bit more fight. Like for Seeker right now, I like them to pick a some a mobile core. And by mobile it doesn't necessarily have to play be a blink or anything, but just something that can shove out waves really quickly and move around the map pretty fast. Ten seconds remaining. So like uh Storm or Murana or one of the kind of heroes that Five is kinda farmy and can just play the the map around pretty fast. Yeah, or even something like co op. So okay, yeah. it's just you want something hard to lock down. You want complexity to chase you. Yeah. at all times like you just want to give them a, uh, a lot of different looks like faint a lot and act as if you're committing to the fight because the tie doesn't necessarily mean you have to straight up five on five it just means that it's harder for them to five on five into you which is really easy against a team like complexity um the obvious threat here from complexity as secret did not ban it out um would be life stealer bardar you don't see a whole lot of life stealer but Dyer when Slardar is picked up, it Fetch usually is a, a, a ban. I haven't actually seen any Slardar Life Stealers, but I've yeah. seen it banned so many times in the 4 or 5. Do you think that's something they could pick? Well, it's kind of hard to say now with a Phantom mm -hmm. Lancer, but. I don't think you do. I definitely don't think you take it now. Yeah, PL it makes it really difficult. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the. You can take. Ten seconds remaining. You can take Ben. Sun's not bad here. It's Five kind of annoying to play remaining. Sun against Tide, but it's possible. They could do something like the Slark that we saw as a response to the Tidehunter. I think it was Newbie that did that. Yeah. Uh, there's not a whole lot of hard lockdown quite yet. But Slark's also not that great versus... You have Dark Pack. It's like, what's good against... What's good against Tide? You could do, like, Timber 1 position or something like that. I'd be a big mm. fan of that. And move Chessie over to, like, a NP. And he is good at being able to deal with PL Illusions, but that also means he's a Timber saw. But mm. good call. Yeah. After I saw the Tide, I thought there was a lot of value there. Uh, the only thing that made me hesitate before uh, they picked the PL was because then you have like this weird position where Chessie's going to have to play it. Or maybe even Limp can play Timber. So they have Ten options here. But remaining. I think Timber just has like sick utility here. It's right. really good against Tidehunter. There's no burst. Uh, Bounty Hunter doesn't do anything to you. And you crush PL. And you're not taking advantage of um, Ardor. One thing that I would point out from Timbersaw. Yeah, right, but there's no synergy there with the Slardar. There's not, but at the same time, like it helps the rest of your heroes. Like Slardar as a whole, just it's a good hero. Yeah. It's nice to it, play it, against. At Bounty the end Hunter. of the day, it's still an initiator, yeah. right? You don't have to focus on the amp. You, you're stunned. Your amp in this game will just be like an addition. Wow. So they think that this is Slardar. We've got three cores on yeah. there. So most likely Slardar core and Fury. Maybe they think it's a warlock core. Maybe and, they know uh, something that, that we the don't. The last thing I was gonna say is that maybe mm. it's a Ten mid warlock. Remaining. Unusual. I don't think. Yeah, they usually run it in five seconds five. remaining. It's uh, Kyle's second most picked now in the last three months. So I was gonna say SF for complexity. I feel like um, you need a sort of like big time carry who just kind of um, does a lot of damage. He also has the benefit of having a heal, but I don't know how that matchup works. Um, Blitz. SF's okay here. 
He has like a lot of clear, but if you get on top of him and burst him, it, you need a BKB core Fire this game, team. I think, for complexity. Okay. That's why I I would I could kind of see SF because BKB cores are pretty important here. If they didn't have something like Timber, I would have said like they would have gone Gyro or something like that. But I don't know how that works with what they already have. If I yeah. were them, I would take Gyro, but who knows? Good call. Oh, two in a row. Nice. But it also makes your core setup a little bit more weird. And if I'm secret here, like I'm looking at this and I'm looking to avoid fights. So I take something like the Quap and just avoid taking these like direct five on five engagements. Remaining. Or even something like the Shadow Fiend that can just like shove out lanes. Like you just need something that five shoves out lanes, remaining. is really safe. So it's like Quap is one of the better options. I can't think of anything else that has mobility and shoves out waves very easily. Um, Marana. Marana's okay too. I think Quap burst damage is better versus both. Uh, Oh, oh. So they take Lash. That's like a hero that they would pick for mid one. It is a wave yeah. shover, but. Huh. Not the best, though. Yeah, it's a bit. It doesn't have the mobility Will was looking for. It commits to team fights, right? It doesn't play yeah. the dodge game. So it looks like Secret wanna. They just wanna fight. And they do have the bounty hunter, right? It would feel a little awkward if you had the bounty hunter and you. We're not willing to take engage. Yeah, there's like a really quick point, but it's like Bounty enables heroes like Leshrac because Lesh is really, he's kind of like slow. It's hard for him to chase, but like you can edict people and track just like lets you run at 400 move speed. And there's a lot of synergy there. And he's a, naturally a kill hero, right? Like he doesn't sit AFK remain. and farm ancients. He wants to be able to kill heroes and farm off of them. All right. Thank you very much, gents. Uh, let's head over to the arena once more as the commentary team are itching to bring you game number two. Thank you so much, Paul. Yes, game number one was a little bit of complexity favored madness. Lacoste, my man, how you doing for game number two? I feel uh, complexity lineup overall is better. They have pretty much of everything, especially to deal with the Phantom Lancer. Mm -hmm. uh, I was expecting something more late game oriented from Team Secret as the last pick. I don't think they have enough to actually team fight. They have this uh, Bounty Hunter. I, it's going to depend a lot on him. Yeah, that's a tough one, too, because I always feel like there's this problem that you get if you don't get a ton of kills early or a bunch of uh, just, you know, things done around the map early on. You end up being at, like, level three or four at uh, eight or ten minutes in, and then you're not able to get up to track quickly enough. It could be really rough. Um, but you said it's going to be dependent upon the bounty hunter to carry secret. Uh, what about complexity? What do they need to get done early? Prepare they just need to get a free farm on this uh, timber saw. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, secret does not have anything to burst uh, this timber down. He does not care about maybe a maledict could be a problem at one point. But with a hood and uh, bloodstone, I, I don't see team secret as a way to deal with him. Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be a tough one, and Timbersaw also got a couple of interesting talent buffs as well. I believe at level 15 now, you're able to get an extra five stacks of reactive armor, which gives you just a ridiculous amount of regen and uh, armor as well to deal with the threats coming their way. So it's going to be a tough one as we get ourselves moving around the map and the chat wheel spam alive as always. Yeah, well, maybe the other team should use the chat wheel more. What do you think about that, huh? I mean, they don't need to. They can all talk with each other. This guy, I, I can't even imagine what it would be like to have to play in a competitive game, a professional level. I, I could end the sentence right there, but and then also on top of that, having to do it with the chat wheel going on for CTY. Tough stuff. Well, maybe if you go 10-0, you don't even need to talk. That's the universal language. There you go. Just being a godlike. The way to be, man. Oh, puppy. Scouting the things out here. Not quite gonna. Well, they're gonna be able to come over and steal the rune away as Chessy was a bit afraid of it. But it looks like he is gonna be heading mid on that gyrocopter. We saw something interesting the other day out of him where they did like Wind Ranger uh, and gyrocopter and then they would just like power shot after the rocket hit in the mid lane. Kind of nifty. Didn't end up working out for them though. Yeah, I wonder if he's gonna go for a homing missile, just max it there. So annoying to play against. Look at this. Oh, what? That, that was a misclick, right? Yeah, probably. And then they also glyphed. Um, okay, well, no problem. No so this is a cool way to deal with the mid. You just uh, use a glyph and you push, his, push the lane to his tower. Oh. He can't last hit. I haven't seen that before. That's kind of, that is really cool. And then like the missile is going on wall that's happening. 
I mean, you're not maybe, using the good yeah, maybe. anyways. There's a bounce hunter on Gyro, level two. They have a stun. Now looking for that opening, it's not quite gonna be there. And in fact, it's Mu that ends up drawing first blood, killing Fata. So things looking good for complexity so far. Yeah, another position for Nature's Prophet with Orb of Venom. Uh, Tide Hunter, maybe if he went for Kraken Shell build there, level one instead of uh, Anchor Smash, maybe he would have lived. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, Fata now getting level two is going to have to deal with this move. Slardar, who is up here in the top lane, and with Z-Freak, what a body box. box. They're starting to make it work and looking for bash. more. The bash comes through. <laughs> Fata, where are you going, buddy? Nowhere left at all, and he's going to oh. not quite hit that stun. That probably would have been a kill. And even what a, still, look at the damage on the Fata. What a timing for that Kraken shell. Yeah. Well, he's able to get the salve going, and two-minute mark now, going to pick up the runes. Complexity already looking pretty good position so far. Uh, what do you think about the Warlock Tidehunter lane? Warlock Tidehunter? Or, sorry, oh my goodness, what am I talking about? Warlock Timbersaw. <laughs> well, pretty impossible to kill Timbersaw. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. I mean, with Maledict, okay, they're actually they're gonna try to go on Phantom Lancer with the Phantom Lancer on Warlock. They have enough region, probably does with uh, Shadow Ward and the Tango. Yeah. I guess that's the only way you can really go with this line is try and hunt the Warlock instead. It feels like this is a perfect uh, Timbersaw game. He just crushes uh, Phantom Lancer during the mid game, and the. Uh, I don't know, he's not affected by Tide Hunter. The only one who can deal with him is Maledict from Witch Doctor and some Lash damage. That's pretty much it. See what build Limp wants to go into if he maybe tries to go for an early hood or something like that to stay survivable against that magical damage. But early on already, able to go toe to toe with the PL. And across all of the lanes, looking fairly even the big person that's kind of losing out here so far is the gyrocopter five and two versus the 13 and six of the lesh yeah it's annoying to play against the rocket but the gyro's range is not uh, that good 365 only right. oh nice stun by lesh and they With bring in Puppy Venom as well and the lightning strike ah nice play by chesty there steeping out good decision well he knew Bounty Hunter was level 2, and uh, he saw him the Junata hit. Sometimes Bounty Hunters go for Shadow Walk and the uh, Shuriken Toss. Right. He just deeped it out. Good recognition there as well, and Kyle now. Thor and Puppy are stalking him. The two supports trying to make short work of this Warlock, and we'll see if he's able to get the rune. Puppy takes it, and probably going to take a life as well, unless they can get the TP away. Kyle, lots of damage, ends up dying. Well, that's a 150 gold only for Puppy. Nope. He, he didn't even get level 3 from that kill. Right. Double damage still sitting on top. Maybe if he picks it up, they can go on a Chessy once again. Looks like at least for now, there's thinking about hunting him regardless of that fact. He doesn't have any points in Rocket Barrage right now on Chessy either, so it's hard to make this work. Yapsor comes in, gets the stun, secret TP in. Can they make this work? Get the damage there. And they do find the kill on the Chessy. The thing about Bounty Hunter, with the changes to Dire Tower, you can actually walk around and the tower can't see you, so you can approach from the right side. Quite nice. Sort of a quality of life thing for the Bounty Hunter. Makes it a little bit better. But limp. Try and put the hurt now. And what is the level that Timbersaw gets to that he starts to really... Uh, cause trouble for the, the PL. Well, he's causing troubles already, so level 5, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's fair <laughs> level enough. Level 3, once he has level 2 reactive armor. Now, oh, this is a perfect Timber Cell game. Yeah. It I really mean, is. When can Ace get solo killed, I guess, is what I should say. Is there a point or does he need rotation always? Once he gets level 6 on that Timber Cell, Ace needs to be super careful. He is yeah. already having troubles. Yeah, he's going to have another round of Whirling Death in just a second if Limp wants to keep diving for this one. and. A little bit here. They're gonna force out the salve, and Limp just gonna keep playing bully. They need to get some stacks going for Chessy because uh, he, my man is struggling on that mid lane. Okay, that's uh, what Kyle's actually doing right now. They already have one stack. 
Me and Kyle think the same. Jesus Christ, I'm the same as Kyle. What, what happened, man? <laughs> well, in the middle, they're able to take down the gyrocopter there yet again. Had a little chat with Kyle during the breakfast about the puck and position four heroes. Um, he, he's kind of stubborn. He, yeah. What he thinks uh, that can work, um, he'll probably try it a couple of times. By couple, I mean 15 until it works. Then he says, I told you guys. Nice. 114, but it still worked. You got it, that you gotta was love that guy. Yeah, he's certainly a character. Right now, getting those stacks up, like you said, for the gyrocopter in the mid lane. It's like they're again trying to set up for him. You talk about it, Jesse, just over and over again. The split earth, the damage is there. They rotate in ace. Yeah, Jesse. Seems like it's a different combination of heroes. They just need to be three. It doesn't matter who, and they didn't just kill Jesse. They rotated the bounty hunter on the bottom. Who's level four, and if uh, he continues to get the XP on that bottom lane before, okay, wait, where's Phantom Lancer? He's on mid now, so th yeah. this is gonna be really good for Bounty, who's gonna get a lot of uh, levels. He might actually hit level six with that dome, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I mean that's what he said was that this is a a hero that needs to get stuff done, but he has gotten stuff done. Chessy, how far is 0 and 3 with 12 last hits? Is you said it, my man is struggling. It's been a rough one. Um, so, how, how worried would you be right now if you're complexity about this? Because you said that Limp is still going to be that true carry. Oh, actually, look at the damage on him. Limp is just going to fall. Five and one secret are demolishing. Well, yeah, the, that's one of the things I said. The only way to deal with him is Maledict and uh, Lash. So yeah. I expect the hood from him at one point, maybe before the Bloodstone even, to mitigate that damage. But Jesse can come back into the game uh, with those stacks. Yeah. I mean, he's sitting on 14 CS against 40 on Lash. Whoa. It's gonna be hard to take the stacks uh, because Bounty Hunter there will be scouting and uh, they can take, uh, take it by themselves as well. Once the Tide... Uh, it's high level, you can't really contest it, and he can kill it with the Anchor Smash, plus Illusion from Phantom Lancer. Yeah, well, Puppy, oh. look at this. He knows what he wants, it's time to eat up a he little needs courier. To, he needs to, okay, he does not need to hit. <laughs> he just takes it down, all right. Points in Shadow Walk 1 and Janata. Oh yeah, that's why, Shadow Walk level 2. That's the extra damage. He wouldn't have killed it if it was level 1. Yep. And bottom lane, yet again, limp found. Is he gonna live? The maledic damage, it's ticking, it's hurting. They try and get him away from it. It looks like it's going to happen. Able to walk away. But... Oh, shuriken! <laughs> Raindrop, baby. That's. I, I, I was expecting Raindrop to be nerfed uh, in this patch, but it didn't happen for whatever reason. Yeah. My goodness. All right, well, they're starting to s sort of get a little bit closer to even now from complexity, but yep. it's still that gyrocopter. Yep. Is... Now it's complexity times. Uh, Moo has enough gold for a blink dagger. That's nine minute blink dagger plus a smoke. So what is this uh, sort of safe lane Slardar try and do at this point? Where, where are you looking to find a kill? I was expecting him to maybe go for a mask of madness. That's what the, like a safe lane build on a slaughter. He's trying to find a kill, but if they dodge it, it doesn't uh, accomplish anything with the blink dagger before he shows it up. It's uh, not that good. You just have a naked blink dagger, but uh, you're supposed to be farming. Oh, puppy there. They spot him with the sentry ward placed down by Kyle. Let us hunt. Well, they're moving in now. There is a Ravage available. Are they just going to take out Warlock again? Seems unlikely. While this is happening, there is that rotation down from the slaughter that we were talking about before, and they could maybe uh, make a kill happen if people start to show up here. And you know, TP rotation's coming in. Fata, that's a hard target to take down, but Z-Freak is there as well. They missed the first Chakram. Again, Ravage is here. Z-Freak, not going to end up being brought down. He didn't want to use it just uh, for position four, yeah. Nature's Prophet, who was level six. He, re he revives pretty fast. Okay, so it's a full Kaya. On Lash Rack, that's one of the heroes that can actually use Kaya Storm, Tinker, Lash, maybe a Core, uh, Skyrot Mage. Look at this too, they have eyes on Slardar, and he's able to get the blink away, but 
Yeah, th that's what I'm talking about. Uh, this Lara just showed his blink dagger, can accomplish anything, uh, can't really farm that much. And Chess is getting in trouble. They're going to be able to take him down. Puppy with the Shuriken connects. Again, the Witch Doctor Ultimate coming down to Moo. It's not going to be enough to bring him down with the Maledic damage, but still. Just One more tick, the it's going to be close. Yeah, not enough, though. So six to one, Secret really just coming out of the gate roaring and I feel like they're going to be able to take down the mid-tier one tower as well. Yeah, I didn't expect the Gyro to get that uh, destroyed in laning stage. You really don't feel the presence of the hero at all. He needs to come back, take those stacks. Yeah. In the meantime, Kyle has gotten his level six, so they're... Is going to be a lot of these team fight abilities coming online. But Puppy, he's just everywhere. He's always where they are. And well, he's found Z Freak. There's going to be a track. They're still chasing, bringing in the Witch Doctor, Sun Shuriken, every damn thing. And Z Freak going down. Killing spree for Puppy. Puppy is all over the place. And that's what exactly what he needs to do. I mentioned uh, during the picks that uh, he's going to rely so much on the bounty. And uh, he's doing such a good job. Six out of seven kills almost level seven well a rotation in they've still looking for this pickoff with the blink dagger from slardar hasn't really progressed in items that much but every time you find this tide hunter it just doesn't feel good to try and go for the kill onto him and this is exactly what secret needs to do just uh, try to avoid fights uh, they got to one tower on mid Ooh. jesse Taken down ancients, but Puppy is off to the side here. And they should just avoid fights because of uh, the build that Slardar went. Oh, look at Titan, he's walking over that direction. And they catch him again. They have the heals, they're gonna be forced to back off. And Puppy's soaking experience here, and the rest of them are walking forward. There's a catch on the move. A lot of he's damage out there as that. well. He's gonna end up falling very low with that one. And now oh, they did drop down. The he's actually gonna die well. from Maledict. Gonna die to that one, yeah. And they come in, they contest the Ancients. They're gonna be able to steal them away. Everything working for Secret at this point. The Titan has a full mech ready. He does also have Soul Ring. And enough mana for Ravage as Kyle found yet again the Maledict over and over again. Kyle gonna drop to this one. Gapsor gets the kill. Four points in Maledict on this Witch Doctor. Yeah, I love that build. Uh, plus an urn gives you so much damage, especially against uh, these uh, low HP heroes. And that bank that Gyrocopter was supposed to be building into, it's completely gone now. He's at 3,200 net worth. The Witch Doctor is about to eclipse him. He's going to be behind Radiant's everybody on the Radiant. Bounty level 7 has enough money to buy some armor for his team. Wow. They should just keep pressuring right now. They still have the Ravage and the Mech on Tide. No reason not to. They're all moving up top. Time to go. Flex D. Oh, he's gonna see him placing a ward on the top. Oh, limp. Does he get out of there? The coconuts, they bounce. They got him caught for the moment. Tries to throw out the chopper, yeah. but he's gonna get away. Which doctor couldn't find an angle. He was trying to cast Maledict from the bottom, yeah. but couldn't find an opening. And the Heather Kane rune there. Pretty sick for VD. Well, again, secret backing out. They got that D ward, it looks like, and Complexity still looking for an answer. Nine and one. Yeah, we also didn't uh, talk about Phantom Lancer at all. Uh, hitting 005, no deaths, has the Fusil Blade ready. So Secret can fight so easily right now. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Soaring being brought out yet again. We have Puppy who's looking for a Courier Snipe. I guess the reason why uh, Slardar went for a Blink Dagger uh, is Gyro didn't have any farm in the lane and uh, they wanted to take the advantage of his free farm just to try to fight, find the kills, help the Gyro to come back into the game, but it's right. not working out. Yeah, they haven't been able to find those fights that they've wanted. And yeah. I gotta imagine a lot of that has to do with Puppy just getting good vision and making sure they dodge the bad fights. So you're gonna end up with two cores not having... Uh, farm at all look at the oh my god bounty has almost the same amount okay he actually has more farm than gyro <laughs> yeah man it's it's a rough one 
and uh, almost the same farm as uh, Slardar. With one more fight, he'll actually be more farmed than Slardar. He has uh, another mech queued up. What? On I'm Bounty? I'm sure it's fine. Maybe Double mech? Fortune. He's probably gonna change that one around afterwards, I'm sure. But we'll see. Um, secret. In the meantime, I mean, it feels like they could go double mech and it almost wouldn't matter at this point. Like, how hard is it to come back into this game for complexity right now? It really is hard, especially with uh, that stack being cleared by Secret, which they gave them so much gold and XP. They need, uh, they need Timbersaw to be active. Well, Z Freak up in the top lane. Puppy is again waiting behind the tower, seeing if anybody wants to show up to defend this one. It's secret kind of doing the complexity strat as they just run at him and dare him to take a fight. Freak still hiding away. Okay, I'm not a big fan of Phantom Lancer Boots of Travel, especially the first one, but this game seems like it's a perfect, especially against Nature's Prophet, who can try to split push and uh, can just be on the other side. They have enough advantage. He can easily TP, uh, help his team. Oh, let's see, this is that change. They are going to be able to get this turn around and just take down the app. So it's a decent kill, but is it going to be enough? They also have the defuser play there on the ace, like we we're talking about. The Z Freak has already fallen. Now looking for maybe a bit more. Fatal Bonds not doing the Ravage is ready, yet. but they don't have any follow up. They're too far behind. But. They back out, 10 to two. They traded a kill, still complexity hurting. Yeah, 17 minutes, still no Ravage uh, and no Chaotic Offering from Warlock. Yeah. Uh, that Fatal Bonds is actually dealing so much damage. Uh, if you think about it, with Fatal Bonds, connect the three, four people uh, and the uh, Black Canyon, that's actually insane amount of damage, plus Steamer Saw. Yeah, it, I mean, it feels like it's th that's what they were going for in their build, but um, I don't know why that aggroed that like that. That was very odd. Uh, but it, it's just not been able to work out the way that they wanted it to. And now, moving in for Roshan, Secret is starting to take it. I guess, are you trying to say that they can still take a fight complexity if they try and go high ground with this? Or if they try and pressure? I don't think they're going to go high ground. They're still... Yeah. Here, one tower on the bottom, they can just take outer towers with it. Oh, Yasha on the way, gets brought out for that gyro. But still, 10 to 2, an 8,000 net worth lead at 18 minutes. Plexi just That's looking not for a favorable 10, <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue with that. <laughs> and there it is. Oh, lordy. Oh, God. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, Meteor Hammer, people have said the one time it could be good is on a Nature's Prophet. <sighs> first time I saw Nature's Prophet uh, with the Meteor Hammer was the Dota Pit. It was the first tournament uh, with the new item. Yeah. It was not very effective. No. I still don't think it is. If you... How much does this shit cost? Uh, <laughs> 2.6k. Yeah. Um, well, you can almost buy uh, a full Desso right. with just one hit from the Desso and the creeps on a, on a tower and your summons, you, you deal much more damage than with just a Meteor Hammer. That's true. But you don't get the team fight contribution, man. You're not gonna use a uh, Meteor Hammer ever, <laughs> like it's just standing there channeling for three seconds. Is it three? This item is so... yeah, it is. I, I stopped even reading what it, what it does. All right. <laughs> well, Lacoste confirmed not a fan, but uh, we'll see if it ends up working out for them. There's a Blink Dagger on Tiny now as well. There's there's one situation that you can use uh, Meteor Hammer, maybe an, on Jakiro. Yeah. If you get it and just try to split push, that's the really, really high okay. amount of damage on the towers. But other than that, I don't see it happening. Fair enough. Well, Kyle is getting chased here. They've got Foss in the area as well, and Kyle is going to drop. That is 30 seconds on the sidelines. Secret have all three of their cores top net worth. Moo is sitting here with an invis rune, but there's so much to be able to make this work. And Chessy, after getting that stack stolen, everything's kind of falling apart for them. Rotation in, there's the stun, there's the jump, there's a lot of damage on to Fata. Puppies behind enemy lines though, and now 
Ace from the high ground. They also caught there on the lift. Trying to drain away his mana. Throwing out the chalk from a second time. Limp needing to jump away. Getting all that mana drained. But they call off the charge. Feels bad, man. Slaughter, 9 minute blink. 21 minute stop. Wizardry. Yeah. And I mean, it's just sort of the way that they wanted to try and continue on in this game. As Yapsor, they run into him with Moo right there. The stun comes out in time. Secondary stun to follow. I hit that. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage there. Yeah, the Maledict, everything. He's just gone. They were just waiting for the track gold as well. He's... 11,000 net worth lead continuing to be built up each and every kill that they get. And, well, Bloodstone is there done for the left track on top of Kaya and the Aegis. Yeah, we missed the biggest highlight so far from Complexity. The Meteor Hammer usage on the top tier 1 tower. It's a rough life. So, Fata, we get hit with a rocket. And Complexity tries to move forward. I mean, they have Fatal Bombs onto these heroes. You have to be a little bit careful if that's not going on there. Still no Ravage, still no Golem. Yeah. CTY is just off to the side, sort of farming away. Do you think that he should be playing with his team right now? I guess he's gonna buy BOTs after. We can DP out as well. Has that Aegis. CTY slowed for the moment. He is going to get caught by the Real Scepter. If they can burn him up real quickly here, this could be a big old problem. And now well, Split Earth gets fainted for the moment. Still a lot of damage there. They're trying to take him down. The crush, the follow, the finish. They burn through the Aegis. Now Yapsor trying to turn this move. Looking like he's going to end up falling to this. As there's no way out for the moment. And Kyle taking a lot of damage here as well. But the Ravage finally comes out. They've caught themselves, Chessie. Chessie going to die. So they burned through the ages. Moo actually lived through that. But it cost them the Gyro and the Warlock. That's a lot of commitment to, to kill a Lesh uh, who had Aegis uh, and the old Scepter. Yeah. I mean, you have a fan you're have you playing against a Phantom Lesher who has BOT, so you can TP to a creep wave and just help him out. Yeah, that's true. Meanwhile, on the top lane, though, Meteor Hammer usage. He took down your one tower. Nice, nice. Well done. It's uh, 14 to 2 now, 13,000 net worth lead. I don't know what I hate more, Meteor Hammer or Bane. You're not a big fan of either, are you? Nah. Well, no Bane in this game, but there was Meteor Hammer. And... Well, what about Bane? I mean... What about Bane with Meteor Hammer? Sleep <laughs> and then just use I think people were doing that. They were talking about it. The thing that's crazy you know, about this game as well by right now is it's 23 minutes in. They're just now getting into those talents. It's been like a lot of five-man Dota. I smoke up under a ward. Uh, could be rough for complexity here. Oh, again, Kyle runs into one. They back out. I mean, we're, we're joking around a lot about the Meteor Hammer, but is there anything really that, like, it feels no. like they're already so far behind. Five man meter hammer. <laughs> Let it rain. Maybe this meteor shower. You know how five man shower feels good. Yeah. And what shrines? Five man shrine oh, yeah, yeah, shower. Okay. Yeah. I gotcha. Imagine five man meteor shower. That's the way to be, man. Dream. Nice as they take down the tower. Call from the chat wheel. But again, complexity, not even able to fully go onto this tier 1 tower, it's just so tough for them right here. They TP away 1, looking for the crush, able to juke away from it, they don't find that PL, and they don't find anybody. And they're just gonna end up backing out now. A lot of misplay from complexity already, Ravage is right in 10 seconds. They're looking for that opening, Jesse in trouble, the Burrow strike, excuse me, the... Coconuts are bouncing back and forth as Moo is starting to drop down low. There's going to be the big old ulti coming out from the Warlock, but everybody is starting to fall. Complexity in a ton of trouble, and nobody from Secret is taking any damage at all. They lose the Gyro yet again. I don't see oh, how chase. Complexity can actually fight into this. Uh, he's going to go down on the Z Freak. Yeah, oh, try to TP the... out. They just nah. end up taking it. Don't even need the Ravage. And meanwhile, off on the other side, Moo gets brought down as well by the Leshrac. 
The last hero left alive, the Timber Saw, but he's just gonna cut the wave. Dyer's Trying to stop the push. Maybe he can snipe the courier as well. And this hasn't looked competitive yeah. for a while. It's Dyer's not quite there. He's got damage down instead, but. Tier 3 tower is starting to fall. This game has been well and thoroughly into the favor of Secret and not looking like that's going to stop the chase and Kyle past the tier 4s as they will do. And that tower about to fall. Cost it ain't pretty. Oh, it ain't pretty if you're a complexity fan. No, it's true. Secret's feeling a little bit better. Ravage still ready. I don't know, it's... Uh... If they lose one more fight, I think they're just gonna call it. Yeah, definitely. Look in trouble, they jump for it, a good oh. crush there on several, but they just don't have to damage the Fatal Bonds, is it there? The fourth step into Ravage, they found themselves flip, and he's starting to fall down there. It's gonna be a Yule Scepter they're trying to get away from that damage, but the Splitter follows, the crush a moment too late, and GG is called. Lacoste, that was a wallaby. Yeah, that was some serious ass beating. Yeah. Look at the Witch Doctor, the, what he has, the turn, and the Lotus Sword at yeah. the end of the game. I mean, the movement from Puppy and Witch Doctor pretty much won them the game, and how they placed the lanes, uh, I did not believe in Lesh, but uh, I didn't think of Kaya as right. a great item on him. Can work, though. Yeah, it looked really good, and I think that build by Yapsor, the four points in Maledict, uh, it was really exactly what they needed. Um, and Witch Doctor, you know, a hero that we've been seeing flirting with greatness, he's coming around 